What's up everybody? Two things off the top. Number one, today's video is sponsored by Felix Grey, these super dope blue light glasses. I will talk more about that later. And two, I have a huge new merch drop coming for you for Black Friday. And now on to today's vlog. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, it's pretty early. It is Sunday morning, and we've got a nice, chill day ahead of us with a pretty, a pretty great practice, I might add. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, Cody, you're a whole new person. You have a baby now. And I mean, you're kind of right, but not really. I'm still a dude who just loves swimming in a pool who happens to have a baby. New dad, fresh new dad, some small changes. I now have tons of baby bottles. I can change a diaper the way Caleb Dressel swims the 50 free. Incredibly efficient and unbelievably fast. I can swaddle a baby in any type of swaddleable material. Yeah, go ahead and say that word three times fast. I can break down a stroller and swap out car seats in the blink of an eye. And that's about it. Everything else is exactly the same. Same Cody, same vlog. Although my sleep pattern has changed slightly, as you would expect with a newborn baby, it hasn't changed as much. You would be surprised. Last night, baby Axel had his best sleep yet. He is starting to prove to me that he is my son. He is a baby of discipline. I mean, not not really, but 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 kind of. Uh, we'll we'll talk about it once we get to the pool. I'm gonna wear my dad slippers to the pool this morning because it's a little bit chilly outside. Quick commute this morning. You gotta love that. Anyone who knows me or watches my vlogs regularly knows that I am a man of schedule and discipline. And last night, baby Axel displayed draconian-like discipline. You know, you have to feed your newborn every few hours all night long. So Ali and I set our alarms every few hours throughout the night to wake the baby up, feed him, put him back to bed, and ah, he was just a trooper. The little guy would go to sleep, we'd wake him up, he'd breastfeed, back to sleep, then breastfeed, back to sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, like a champion. No crying, no fussing. I'm telling you, I've been I've been sleeping great. And now we're gonna train. It's time for the best part of the day. Ooh, that is satisfying because it is about 48 degrees outside. Whew. Let's get warming up and then I'll talk to you about the main set. So today's main set is a short interval conditioning set into a hypoxic no breath underwater set into max effort 25s. The short interval set is 30 75s and the way that I have it written right here is the way you would do it if you were swimming in a 25 yard pool. The way that I'm gonna do it is basically go off of stroke count and kick count. What I mean by that is because I'm swimming in place in an endless pool, I'm going to do 10 freestyle strokes and then submerge myself underwater and then do four dolphin kicks and repeat that three times as if I'm doing 325s for a full 75. So there's no flip turn, so obviously it's gonna be a little bit faster in here than it would be in a regular pool, but I'm gonna make sure that I put it on an interval where I'm getting about the same amount rest. So roughly 10 seconds rest in between each of the 30 75s. Does that make sense? Let's go. Oh. 
halfway. It started to rain out a little bit, but kind of nice. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. We're killing it. We are killing it. Doing good, going through it. Go. One more. One more. Woo. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. We're on the final set, the 1625s. Oh, we did it. I'm done. Come on. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Everybody has those moments in training where their inner weakness subconsciously starts to seep in and tells you, oh, just go a little easier. Oh, just turn the and turn the unit down, go a little slower. Make the interval a little bit easier. You know, you start making excuses. Everybody has those thoughts. Today, I had those thoughts. <laughs> if you just keep pushing past that, the sense of satisfaction, that gratification you get afterwards is always better. Right, you always feel better about it doing something that is challenging. That, you know, mentally when you're like, you don't think you can do it, when you finally get through it, doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't have to necessarily be swimming, but that, that rush afterwards, that feeling afterwards, that gratification, that dopamine hit, whoo, is real. It's worth it. Ah, I don't love training by myself out here. I don't love swimming by myself, but it's the weekend, you know? I mean, I'm lucky that I get to, I'm lucky that I have the opportunity to, that, you know, I've got this nice pool and all that. It's much better with a group of people though. And when you have a coach who's like there to yell at you to make sure that you don't kind of wuss out a little bit as I almost did today. You know, I was kind of joking around earlier about how nothing in my life has really changed. Obviously, things have drastically changed. And there's really one major thing that sticks out to me. One thing that is like seared into my brain. One thing that I went through this past week that I want to share with you guys. Real talk. A lot of people have asked me how having this baby has changed me. I definitely just went through the most transformative thing I've ever been through. And I'm not exactly the same. And let, let, let me give you a little bit of context. Before I had this baby, everyone who was a parent always tells you you'll never really understand until you're a parent. And I think now I kind of understand that because... You know, the moment I saw that baby get hoisted out of Alley for the very first time, it's like there was a tectonic shift in my body, in my DNA about what was really important to me. And that was then amplified by what was definitively the scariest moment of my life, the scariest hour of my life that, that happened this week. I'm sure that a lot of you guys saw that little two minute video I put on Instagram and YouTube the day after the baby was born and everything was great, right? We had, Allie had just given birth, the baby was healthy, Allie was healthy, everything was solid, it was great. However, what you didn't see was about 20 hours after the birth, Allie started bleeding through her stitches, through her incisions really badly. Axel was born through a C-section, so he came out of you know her belly, they, they cut him out. And they basically found that she had been bleeding internally really bad. And the doctor came in and, and told us that she needed to go into surgery again. And there was about an hour, I wasn't allowed to be there for the procedure. They put her under through anesthesia, she was out cold, and there was about an hour where I was just in our little room, just me and the baby, and that was the scariest hour of my life. You know, I thought everything was gonna be okay, but the bottom line is she was going into a surgery because there was something wrong. She had torn her stitches and torn a muscle underneath her abdomen that was causing her to bleed really bad internally, and you know, fortunately everything worked out okay, but in that period of time, I was terrified of losing her in a way that I'd never even considered before, right? Um, the thought of losing Allie was something that my brain couldn't even really comprehend. And you know, I laid there with baby Axel and I looked at him and I told him that no matter what happens, I was gonna be there to take care of him. 
that I would do everything I could to take care of him. And that he would have a relationship with me that I never had with my dad. I didn't have really much of a relationship with my dad. And so, you know, just laying there for an hour with baby Axel, just praying and hoping that Allie was gonna be okay, was a life altering experience. And um, it really made me really assess what is truly important to me. And obviously the moment I first saw baby Axel, I was like, this, this is my future. This is the most important thing to me, but it was amplified. It was dialed all the way up in that short period of time of despair and helplessness. I felt helpless. Now, I didn't want to get, get too emotional or deep right there, but you know, Allie, Allie turned out to be fine. You know, they, they, they pulled out about a liter of blood out of her belly, stitched her back up, and now she's fine. And it was funny, they wheeled her back into the room with me and the baby, and she was super high on the anesthesia that they put her on, like the laughing gas, she was giggling, and she was like, hey baby, I'm okay. Like, it was really funny. And it was the biggest moment of relief that I have ever, ever had. Uh, it was really funny. She was telling, as they were wheeling her in, she was like, I promised everybody I would get them donuts. They did such a good job. Like it was just, it was funny. So it, 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 it all worked out. Anyway, the bottom line is I am still the same Cody, still the same swimmer, but I have a new sense of purpose and very new substantial priorities. And on that note, I have got to make some money to buy this little guy diapers. So let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Feel Felix Gray, the blue light filtering glasses that I know if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me wear before. I love these glasses. Love, love, love these glasses. I've been wearing them for over a year now and the reason I started wearing them was because when I would spend a lot of time in front of screens, whether that was me playing Fortnite in here, like I play a lot of Fortnite, sometimes I'll sit here and play four hours of video games at a time or maybe maybe more. I've also been playing the new Spider-Man game on my PlayStation in the living room. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Over the years, as I've spent more time in front of screens, I have more headaches and I have a much harder time falling asleep. Like when I'm on my computer editing my vlogs, staring at a screen for three hours before I go to bed, I have a really hard time falling asleep. But once I started wearing these, no BS. Once I started wearing these glasses, that like completely went away. Now there are a lot of blue light filtering glasses on the market, but trust me when I tell you, Felix Grey is the best. They're like, they're like the Ferrari or the Tesla of the blue light filtering glasses market. These glasses filter 15 times more of the bad blue light coming off of screens than other competitors. If you're like me and you spend a lot of time in front of screens, you have a hard time falling asleep, don't take my word for it, try it yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off everything at Felix Gray for the last time this year. Go ahead, click the link in the description below. Get yourself a sweet deal. Yeah, give him a little kissy. Good boy, good boy. They're gonna be best friends. My three boys. Your three boys. We're gonna take care of you forever, you know that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take care of you forever. Right now, Lego's the main one that takes care of me. How dare you? <laughs> I'm just I have kidding. Been showering you, <laughs> and changing you. You're not changing me. I'm pulling up your underwear. Better not put that in the thing. That's it for me, guys. As always, make sure you're following me on social media at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays and sometimes Friday. This Friday, there will be a new vlog, two vlogs this week. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos with your friends. That really helps me. Merch is available on the merch store. Best part of the day. Here's one of, one of the new designs. Check that stuff out. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, all the good stuff. I have an entirely new merch drop coming for this Black Friday for everybody that's been asking for new stuff. It is coming. Very excited. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos with your friends. That really helps me. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Ooh.